let me show you how to go through the initial setup on Redmi 15. So once you turn on your device for the first time, after a short while, you would see you should see this Xiaomi Hyper OS uh, text with the arrow. So we're gonna tap on this arrow in order to start setting up our device. Next, we're gonna choose the language that we wish to use on our device. I'm gonna stick with English United States and let's proceed. Next, we can choose our region. You can also use the search field in order to write the name of your country. So I'm gonna choose United States and then we can proceed by going next. Now over here, press next, scroll down where we have this text and select I've read and agreed to the user agreement and privacy policy and then go next. There we go. Now you can set up this device by using your other device. So if you have your old phone, whether it is Android or iPhone or iPad, you can choose one of these two options and then do so. But in this video, we're gonna actually perform a um, a clean setup, so we're gonna choose skip over here in the, the bottom left corner. All right, in my case, I have two SIM cards detected. I have inserted two SIM cards, so we can manage that immediately over here. But in my case, I'm just gonna go next. We can, of course, adjust these settings later on. And then we can choose our Wi Fi. So wait a couple of seconds, you should see the list of Wi Fi networks. And then you should be able to find your Wi-Fi, so you want to select it and then connect to it. Of course, if you don't want to, you can just skip this process. Uh, in my case, I have connected, so I'm going to go next. Now let's wait a second. After that, we can sign into a Google account, so you can provide your email or phone number over here. So uh, let me just quickly sign in. By the way, if you want to, you can also create an account if you don't have one, or you can skip this process completely by using the skip text which is over here if you have open keyboard or in the bottom left corner. Next, we need to agree to Google Terms of Service if you decided to sign in. So we're going to press I agree. Another thing is that we can copy apps and data from our Google account or by using our Google account. If you have a backup made on your Google Drive, then you can proceed and press next in order to get the backup. On the other hand, you can also just don't copy over here by using this text in the bottom left corner. Now, in this case, we can set up a screen lock. So if you want to, you can go to screen lock. So you can just uh, choose a pin code password or a pattern. You can also set up uh, biometrics as well. So you can choose fingerprint or face unlock uh, in addition to that. I'm just going to skip that. We can, of course, do that later in the settings, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Now we have Google services, so we can toggle location. We can allow scanning. There is also this option, send usage and diagnostic data. We can turn this option, turn these options off if you want to. And if you scroll all the way down, press accept in the bottom right corner. Next, you have the option to back up your device. So you can back up photos and videos, as well as other device data that is listed over here. You can uncheck anything if you don't want to back up something. And you can just simply press don't back up as well if you don't want to create any backups. Now we have to choose our default browser and search engine. So let's press next. First, we have the selection of a browser. If you don't know which one to choose, you can, for example, choose Google Chrome. This is, I believe, the most popular choice. And then we can press set as default. And then over here, we have now the search engine. Once again, if you don't know which one to choose, then most likely you want to, you want to use Google. And then press set as default. Now over here, we can continue the setup. Uh, or you can just leave and get a reminder later. In my case, I'm going to continue. So I'm going to show you what we have next. So in this case, we have Quick Share, which we can um, uh, toggle, I guess, by pressing I agree. After that, you will have Gemini. So if you press continue, then you have the Hey Google voice command, uh, which you can set up if you want to. If you decide to turn it on, you will have to say a couple of sentences out loud in order to um, make uh, the phone learn your voice, etc. In my case, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to press no thanks on the left side. We can also set up Google Pay over here, but I'm just going to skip that process. And there is additional stuff like uh, you can add another email account. You can change how tax displays and so on and so forth. So if you want to, you can go through these options, of course. But in my case, I don't want to do that right now. We can, of course, do these things later on through the phone settings. So now let's wait for another screen. Next, we have basic settings from Xiaomi. 
So we have location, which can be toggled, automatic system updates. We can send usage and diagnostic data. We can personalize ads. We have user experience program, system daemon permissions, and Xiaomi interconnectivity, all of which can be toggled by tapping on these switchers. And we can proceed by going next once you decide what you want, what you want to use. If you want, you can set up parental controls on this device, but if this phone is just for yourself, then of course we can just skip that and go next. Then we have font setting. I'm going to stick with the default one. You can switch to this MI Sans if you want to. And there is the default launcher. So we have a choice between classic where we have every app in the home screen. And there is also the app drawer setting where we can swipe up in order to see the list of all installed apps. I definitely prefer the app drawer, so I'm going to choose it, and probably I can recommend you this one as well. And let's go next. Then we have the navigation mode, so we can either use full screen gestures, where you can navigate by using different gestures, or you can use three buttons at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to stick with buttons in my case, and let's go next. And there we go. Now we need to simply wait a couple of seconds in order to let our phone prepare the home screen for us. And once that is done, you should be able to proceed. And there we go, the setup is complete. So we can press continue once that is done. And you should see the home screen after that. And there we go, we have our home screen. And you can start setting up your device after that as you wish it to be. So you can start personalizing, installing new apps, you can install new apps, update everything, and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.